Okay, we're writing a proof for this theorem. In a plane, if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, they're parallel to each other. So these two lines right here are per perpendicular. It says, given to us, that R is perpendicular to S, and T is also perpendicular to S, okay? And so I've written that there as the first step, and that's just given information, okay? So since they're perpendicular, that means that we've got... 90 degree angles here, right? Okay, and so what I've written here for step two is that the measure of angle one is equal to 90 and the measure of angle five is equal to 90. And that's just the definition of perpendicular lines, right? Uh, they meet at 90 degree angles, so. Um, and then look, we've got two angles both equaling 90 degrees. And so if two things are equal to 90, uh, both 90 degrees, they're equal to each other. So the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle five. That's the transitive property of equality. Okay. And it's equality and not congruence because we're talking about the measures which are equal. Okay. Now, if two angles have the same measure, then those angles themselves are congruent. So angle one is congruent to angle five. That is the definition of congruence. Okay. And now we know that angle one is congruent to angle five. And what are they? Well, they are corresponding angles, okay? They correspond, they're in the same position in the two intersections. Um, and if we know that corresponding angles are congruent, we can do the converse of the corresponding angles theorem and say, uh, then we know the lines are parallel. So we can say the lines are parallel because the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. If you know two corresponding angles, are congruent, then you know that the lines are parallel. 